Now, this is a condition. Okay, so let's write a weird clause where, let's say, id is greater than or, uh, or equal to 2, for example. Okay, so now what would happen? When you run this SQL, Oracle, this is what Oracle would do. Always, you know, try to simulate uh, the running of the query in this manner in your mind. Okay, uh, like first Oracle will visit the first record. And Oracle will try to see if this condition uh, is true or false. Okay, this condition consists of ex two expressions separated by an operator. Okay, so or at the first record, Oracle will see if ID is greater than or equal to two. What is ID? ID is one here. Okay, so is one is greater than or equal to two false? Okay, so this record will be marked as false. So this will not be displayed in the final result. Now Oracle will jump to record number two is id is 2 here is 2 is greater than or equal to 2 yes so this is true so record number 2 will be displayed in the final result now row number 3 is 3 is greater than or equal to 2 yes true so row number 3 will be displayed in the final result so only row 1 was false and 2 and 3 was true okay so that's how oracle works see only two rows are displayed in the result so right now we are just assuming we want to select all the columns okay because we want to focus on the where clause at the moment so this is how it works for each row condition is a where condition is evaluated if there is only one condition then that will be evaluated if there are more conditions then we'll talk about more conditions later on then all conditions together will be evaluated so final result would be either true or false okay so only those rows will be displayed where the result is true so again, this is an example of an expression where name is equal to Hassan. Now, this is an example of a condition, sorry. So here, name is an expression, Hassan is an expression, and operator is equal to sign. Con it's a comparison operator. Now, as you s saw in the earlier example, here the column name could be an expression, a constant number could be an expression. Here, column name is an expression, a constant text string is called the text literal okay so when we when we talk about constant number that's like a constant number when you talk about some constant text it's called a literal so this could be an expression as well okay so let me show you an example here so if we say where name is equal to Hassan Mir now here the con uh, the condition is where name is equal to Hassan Mir. Now for each row, this will be evaluated. Okay, obviously for row one, the result for this expression, this condition would be true. For row two, it's going to be false, and for row three, it's going to be false because row two, the name is Larry Ellison, and row three, name is Bill Gates. Okay, so let me run this query. Wow, invalid. SQL statement. Oh, select start from contact where name is equal to. What is invalid about that? I don't know what happened. It was a glitch. Anyway, so as you can see, only the first row is selected because the condition is true only for the first row. Okay. Now, just a quick reminder that the the literal the text literal is case sensitive so if i go like where name is equal to hassan me then the first row will result in false as well for this condition because hassan mir in 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 uh, title case is not equal to hassan mir in uppercase okay as you can see no data found no no record uh, resulted into into true as far as this condition is concerned okay so now let me show you another example here we are evaluating uh, we are comparing two columns together okay here we are saying where day number is equal to evening number so we are basically saying show us all the results where uh, where somebody has the sa same day and evening number so maybe they work all the time or they don't even work okay so how would we do that So let me first show you all the data in the table. Here you can see only Hassan Mir has the same day and evening number. So 
so where day phone is equal to evening phone okay so only row one will result into true as far as this condition is concerned okay Larry Ellison and Bill Gates they will result in false because their day and for evening numbers are not equal to each other okay so oh whenever I, I by mistake I do this this uh, you know selection before I click on the run sign so selection mean I only want to execute this part whatever is highlighted so never please be careful okay learn from my mistakes I shouldn't be highlighting this when I click on run so now it should work okay so as you can see only row one resulted into true okay so what have we learned from this is expression we already know expression could be a column name but on both sides expression could be a column name because in earlier example on one side expression was a column name and other side it was either a constant number or it was a literal okay text literal and here on both sides we have a, a column name okay where one column is equal to the other column okay so how would that work you know for each row Oracle will substitute you know the values of, uh, applicable like uh, of, uh, for that row into the expression for example if we write this is day number is equal to evening number when Oracle is executing this SQL like day number would be substituted by 1 2 3 4 5 6 and evening number will be substituted by 1 2 3 4 5 6 as far as row 1 is concerned okay then the condition will